between Christmas and the New Year. And he's got I think it's Doc Martin right. with him. Hello, Martin. How oh, are you? Uh, good afternoon. Very well, thank you. Oh, Happy you Christmas. Could, is Doc Martin all right? Uh, that'd be fine. Cool. That'd be fine. I do like uh, Padstow. <laughs> so you do magic as well? Uh, I do, yeah. yeah. And you've been all over Europe? Uh, yeah, I've travelled about a little bit. Uh, mainly just the southwest now, though. Uh, and what's your Facebook? Uh, my Facebook to find me is Mr. Erius, A E R I U S, yeah. or Magic Martin so for the you, children's shows. So you, you cannot be Erius? Well, I'm just a little bit mysterious. Mysterious? Oh, very much mysterious. Yes, <laughs> we have the pleasure of Mr. Gardner here with us today. Very old friend. Who's and, Mr. Gardner? And getting older by the day. That's me, that's my third that's name. <laughs> <laughs> I go by many names for tax reasons. <laughs> are, you, are you a gardener? Oh. Uh, no, not. A, I am a gardener, as in surname is gardener, oh. but um, not a keen gardener at home. I'm a we, Summerfield, so it's always spring. Ah, uh, okay. Around okay. me. Or an old supermarket. <laughs> or a super, no, it spells it differently. <laughs> Summerfield. Oh, I'd forgotten all about them. Yeah, mm -hmm. and quite rightly too. Anyway, uh, as we have an audience, I can say, here. <laughs> sorry, where's the audience? There. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> audience of one as usual now. Yeah, well, that's all we can fit in here. <laughs> cool. Well, it is the smallest magic to, shop in the world. We've practically got to fit you just inside the door. To, I have put on weight over Christmas, by the take way. The, uh, take the film. Sir! Yes. You've just been knighted as well. I know. New Year's only with a only with New a magic years. wand. <laughs> it's okay. If you magic. will, sir. Have you got a magic Stop. wand? Yes, I have got a magic wand. Thank yes, you. There, there you go. Let's <laughs> smack the blooming camera with it. Right now, pay attention. When I was your age, I was too poor. I couldn't afford to pay attention. Right. You should um, have gone to edge, sir. Stop. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, just there? That'll do, nicely. Are, are you happy? Um, um, uh, more than happy. Right, okay. If you know, if you're happy, Show you know, the happy camera hands. the card. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to use half nice the deck because uh, this is going to be a bit messy. And is I that the famous really Anton deck then? Pop the card just there, sir. Now, there are two sorts of magicians. There are the clever sleight of hand experts. See if he's got the right card. Yeah. Uh, that they could have booked. Magic trick. And then there's me, okay? Special effects. So, I'm going to take uh, this uh, beautiful gold-plated picture frame. It's a nice photo. Was it shot at night? Yes. This is um, my black cat in the coal cellar. Now watch. My <laughs> word. Well, that's clever. And uh, just as a point, that is behind. That's amazing. The glass. Yeah. Just so I show you that. <coughs> Five of Hearts Productions. Can you only do that in the spring? Yes. Now, um, th th this young man has purchased um, today one of these. I will show you this just to prove that I too could have been on Britain's Got Talent. I hope he doesn't ask for his money back. <laughs> but I wasn't. He hasn't paid me yet. <coughs> See here is. Um, Did you draw on them? Yes. Those rude, uh, oh, they all must look rude. It's Marcus. a little stick man. Oh, right, that's what it is. Standing on a stage. And you may notice he's very slightly different, you see? Each one just a little bit more different to the other. We go through. Anyway, he has learnt to do a card trick. And so they're all in the secret order. Because otherwise they flick. But I, I, I should uh, explain that uh, a little bit of a... Uh, a flick book going on there. That's why they have to stay in order. The early cartoon otherwise animation. It doesn't. Uh, yes, that's why it's called cartoon. By Edward Mybridge. Right. Oh, yeah. Sir, name a card. And he was a murderer. The Four of Diamonds. Four of Diamonds. Diamonds are say forever. Fred then for a second. Uh, four of Diamonds. Do you want to change your mind? Uh, yes. OK. <laughs> what card would you like to change your mind to? The uh, the Seven of Spades. Seven of Spades. OK. Now, do you, now, I would say, do you want to change your mind again, remembering the fact that whatever card you choose, you're going to regret uh, in the long run? Wouldn't it be good if you could really change your mind? Yeah, I wouldn't want yours, right? <laughs> you know what you mean. Are you happy with the Seven of Spades? Yes. You don't want to change your mind again? No. Yeah, absolutely certain. All right. Right, OK. So, we will take the Seven of Spades and we will place it here as an aid memoir. 
that's the card what he has chosen. I'll uh, just uh, oh, hang on. Just hope this is a. Uh... <laughs> Here we go. They grab all the other cards like this. Seven Thank you to say that. Okay. Watch. Here we go. As he reaches up, takes his hat off, reaches into the hat and pulls out. It looks like a rabbit, but no, it's a folded up playing card, which eventually he turns over to reveal the seven of spades. Oh, brilliant. Very clever. Smashing. See, you could have changed your mind. You didn't, which is just as well, because otherwise the trick wouldn't have worked. Or would it? <laughs> Should have said <laughs> See his face is waiting for the camera to go on. Then, then. But, <laughs> um, had, had I done it properly in the first place, um, wouldn't be quite such an issue. Um, sir. Me again. Do you have a Do you not want to use any of the other audience members? <laughs> I would, but they're not as good looking as you, sir. Oh, bless your heart. Do you have a ring on you? Yes, you do. I'm glad about that. Um, right, so we will take this ring and... Uh, we will wrap it in this beautiful, cheap... Is it a red, red wing? A ring? It's a, this beautiful, cheap... Would this in, ring in, be red? In fact, sir, as you've got two hands, would you like to grab hold of that ring? OK? Have you got it? Right, don't stick your finger through it, just hold on to it, because otherwise when I come to rip it out of your hand... Yeah, I've got it. it <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> it was an expensive okay. ring. Uh, I don't think so. No, it's my wedding ring. So oh. pretty cheap. Oh, right, OK. Now, just in case things go wrong. Right, if you can hold the... Is that famous Justin? If you can hold that up about an inch. Up an inch. Have you got, have you got... Up, up. Right, thank you. If, that's, you an, if that's an inch, we have no problems. Ching! OK, if you just like to drop it that's on the table... It's over your face. <laughs> There's definitely a round thing, piece of metal in that cloth that right. I was holding. Right. Um, okay. Well, Martin, I'd like to introduce. Um, this is Mr. Summerfield. He was the last person seen holding your ring. Uh oh. If you'd like to have quiet words with him outside. And don't tell your wife. It's her that you've got to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Oh dear. The camera pans down onto this beautiful leather. Wallet, purse, call it what you will. This is what is known as a magician's purse because inside it we find another magician. I mean, uh, uh, another purse. And inside here, guess what? We find a gold ring. Another purse. With a diamond on it. And inside, uh, there's 37 to go, by the way, in case you're worried. Uh, it's clever, been... isn't it? Open up this if there's one. something in it, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that would be true. I, I think, um, oh, look at that. Normally, there's a bit of piece of cloth in here looking after it nicely, but uh, uh -huh. uh, if we just uh, oh, wow. tip that out. Is that the same ring? No. <laughs> <laughs> is that your ring, sir? It uh, is. Uh, are, are you it's shinier, actually. actually. You've cleaned it for there's me. There's no diamonds on it. Well, that's it. And uh, <clears throat> this, this beautiful ring, um, did you choose it? Uh, I think I did. It was you, a while ago now. You did? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that was bad, wasn't it? Watch! <laughs> Watch! 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 And once again. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night. God bless. Done up. You can go now. Oh, Thank oh, you, Mark. Oh, sorry. Oh. Is that Randy uh, oh, today? It must be... Uh, oh, it's my ring. That's incredible, isn't it? Here is an exact duplicate of your ring. Is it? I didn't know it was a key ring. If you want the real one back, it'll be in Wants Gold Centre sometime tomorrow. Are well, they paying you to advertise? <laughs> I'm putting that back on quick. Do you want it back? <laughs> it's full of jokes, this guy. <laughs> yes, I, I, I'm sorry. Right. Um, not sure as if I've ever had the chance to do this. This used to be one of my all-time favourite card tricks. And uh, I used to sell this, really should sell it again because I do have the rights to it. Uh, so, if you will, just uh, cut the cards. Oh, somebody already has. <laughs> Got that one in before you. Uh, you just cut cut the cards. And we will mark that I didn't spot. see the scissors. 
Now the trick was so good <laughs> I saved up and I bought the other half. Now, this half you've cut the cards completely random. This half we're going to choose a card by using fate. Now the simplest way of using fate is a thing called numerology which works well with cards because you keep adding numbers up to you get a single digit number and that's the number you live your life by. So as so we've got about 20 cards here, could you give me a random number between... Oh actually you can do this Chris, uh, because people might think that uh, Martin's working on my side and I know you like to try and screw me up. A uh, number between 10 and 20? 19. 19. Uh -huh. One, two, three, Don't four, off. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Now, in numerology, you take the 1 and the 9, you add them together, and you get... 19. 10. 10. 1, <laughs> one plus and 9 is 10. Oh, sorry, I thought you... <laughs> <laughs> and this is why Chris is a photographer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So utilising fate, its very self, we have this half a card. Utilising pure chance, we have this half a card. And now comes the moment of revelation. You will not believe this. As I turn the cards over, yes, ladies and gentlemen, they match. As the deafening applause dies down, because some people think that isn't that impressive, but if I were to take these cards and show you that you could have chosen any card... My word. Christmas cards, almost. But he chose this half. And of course, they match the prediction. Wow. Now, some people think that maybe they should match this way, which would be good, but then, of course, the prediction would be wrong. And some people uh, are curious about this half a card here because, well, you've had to choose that half a card because there aren't any other cards to choose from. So good. I was applauding for everyone else. Yeah. Thank you. That's I thought you got the clap. <laughs> oh, well, don't tell his wife. <laughs> well, there you go. We've had, uh, uh, had I had a bit more warning, I might have uh, done some other bits because I didn't know Martin was going to be here. A, a pleasure to see him. But uh, Are that's... you feeling better now? Oh, much. After seeing Doc Martin? Oh, yes. Yes, he always cheers me up. So that's it. They don't do anything else. You can turn the camera off now. That's very good, Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> it's goodbye from him. <laughs> it's, it's goodbye, goodbye from him. It's goodbye from him. Martin. And it's goodbye oh, to you. Goodbye. Come on. Come on. Sign off. We've had enough. <laughs>
Uh, oh, there you go. And he went, yeah. he head down, went down there and he went back oh, again. Oh. And then he said, ah, happy new year. Deja vu. Wow. <sighs> the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. A question for twenty dollars. How many beans are there in a can of Heinz? How many beans are there in a can of Heinz? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. <laughs> ah. Isn't that how they play the game in America? They give you the answer and you have to come up with a qu What a gas. As if in no. Okay, uh, are we doing a trick today? Uh, are we doing a trick today? Oh, oh, are you just going to be in that defensive mode of having your arms crossed? Do you want to see the world's fastest trick? Uh, I do, yes. Want to see it again? <laughs> ah, ah, that was really good. Is that all? <coughs> right, thanks a lot for the trick of the week, and that's it. Bye, I'll see you next week. Bye. I have, however, nothing to do with magic. Oh, bitch, you so funny. Where am I? Oh! Hello, I know Mark. where you are, I know where your brain is. <laughs> I have started collecting coins, oh yes, this is my entire coin collection right here. Oh look, but I do have three amazingly different coins. It's a royal, it's a royal coin isn't it? It's a crown. Um, no, no, I, I will explain exactly what these are. This is, as you can see, you um, very slowly for the dyslexic. You um, have, uh, this is Liberty Walking, therefore that makes you the Walking Liberty. Copper coin, an ounce of pure did copper. did you steal it? Were you taking a Liberty? <laughs> this is solid brass. This is a Chinese coin. A you can always tell it's Chinese coin because it will have a hole through it. Do you know what the hole's for in the Chinese coin? Oh, I think I do. <laughs> Peking. <laughs> okay. Actually, yeah. there is a genuine reason because they used to thread them onto a lace so they could hang them around the neck or their waist, which stopped them getting stolen. Aren't they a bit heavy? I mean, uh, no. Chinese are quite thin and reiki, uh, you know, fragile looking people. and. Having the coins in the lace around the neck might be a bit heavy, especially if they fall into a pool of water. Might take them under, they might drown. This, however, the cream of the collection, this is the iconic American silver dollar. This is a Morgan silver you dollar. Got that in the window, have you? Solid silver. And uh, if you notice the date there, which you probably may or may not be able to see on the camera, 1921 makes this coin. <laughs> uh, a drop in the ocean, or at least it would do. Look at that, I'm even trying to run it over with my. Uh, I think you're insisting that I get these low level shots today, aren't you? Oh, <coughs> you keep bending down. Uh, stay down there. Oh, I okay. can see that ball patch. This solid silver, ironically worth a lot more than a dollar. How do I know it's still solid silver? Um, you just I have just to take my word good. for exactly, it. Yeah, yeah. So, but it is genuinely solid silver. Worth about 30 coins. quid ish. Now, your mark, get your fingers off, you bloody thieving Language. rascal. You don't have to censor the video. Um, Anyway, uh, where we're going with this is your brain can be very easily fooled. It can be. You see, your memory can be tampered with. So, let me... Uh, Entertain you. For example, if I were to take out the... Uh, oh, it might help you to remember the coins, maybe silver, brass, copper, copper, silver, brass. Okay. I remember it copper silver brass, which is odd because that would put that one in there and it makes it a little more difficult to remember things. If I were to take out the silver coin and yeah. put that in my pocket over here, and they're still there, and they are there. And now, if I and close my hand too. around these two coins, yeah, now, Go, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll help you at home here. What have you now? What have I got in this hand? You got the copper, and um, was it brass? Very good! And therefore, obviously, in my pocket here would be the silver coin. Absolutely. But if I, because you had two things to remember there, that made it difficult because you could bounce it's off one name. another because you thought copper, the other one would therefore be brass. If I were to reverse the whole situation and take out the copper and the brass coin and put those. Should I miss your pocket. Well, was I supposed to follow that through? So it doesn't good. matter. Here, I have this coin here. Now, if I were to close my hand around the silver coin, I'll leave it a couple of seconds so you actually forget what's going on in here. What have I got here? You got a silver coin. Ah, you see, now this is where I start to confuse you because that's the copper and the brass coin, the silver coin, ha ha ha, is over here in oh, this right. pocket. Uh, now you got it right the first time, you got it wrong the second time because there's only one thing to remember, that confused you. So let's, um, 
go back to the beginning where we took out the silver coin. Hi, silver. I, I won't place it in my pocket. I'll just keep it in this hand here. So uh, let's try the reverse question. Where is the silver coin? It's in your left hand. In your in, right hand. In in the right hand. That's that, that's very good. Okay. So where is the silver coin? In your right hand. No, you see, you're getting confused now. The silver coin is over here, the brass and the copper is over here. I will do it one last time, right back to the beginning, where in the beginning I took this, uh, the other... In the yes, I, no, I in took the, this coin out, didn't I? Yes, no, I put it in my pocket. In the beginning there was a tree. Uh, no, there was... And an apple. In the beginning there was nothing. What have we got here? You got silver. No, you got the brass and... <laughs> no, you were right first time. <laughs> there is the silver. Uh, the copper and the brass obviously are over here in my pocket. Yeah. Let's let, let's try one one last little thing. If I were to take all of them and put them in there and take nothing out, what have I got? Brass, silver and bronze. No, you're really not getting this, are you? <laughs> so good. <laughs> uh, I'm more to the point. I just don't want to give you my beautiful coin collection. Uh -huh. uh, which is... I'm going to get brassed off. All mine. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. Especially Excellent trick, which has taken you years and years and years. Especially for you, for Mr. McHugh. Thank Mr. you. Mr. McHugh. Uh, he knows who he is. Is he tall? Um, I have no idea. I never actually met him. Is he IQ? He's, he's, a, he's an old, long-standing customer. I'm talking about no idea. Talking of no ideas. Oh. You've still got him in the window. Sorry, th this is the point where you, you know, switch off now and just go Bye. and make a cup of tea. I'll just go and have a word with no idea. Okay. Thank you. He's going to see his no idea. I have no idea why. I have no idea! Did you see Noah? Oh, good morning now. How are you this morning? Did you see Noah? <laughs> no. I thought that's what we went to see, no idea. I was going in two by two actually. Uh, Good morning, what are we going to do today, Mal? Have a cup of coffee. For coffee? Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Cheers, thank you. See you next week. <sighs> Time I left
out our mail through his website listed here and also through Facebook. Music with Red Packs by Chris Oxton, Oxton Music on Facebook. This has been a Chris Summerfield Media Production 2016. You can contact me at ccsphoto12 at hotmail.com through Facebook. And if you can help PayPal my videos, you can PayPal me at chrisbussummerfield.com. Thanks for watching the video.